With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So the question is, if a quadratic polynomial f of x is factorizable into linear distinct factors, then what is the total number of real and distinct zeros of f of x? So, in the solution, as it is given that we have to take a quadratic polynomial, so we will take f of x in its general form that is ax square plus bx plus c where the condition r a should not be equals to 0 and a, b, c should be constant. Okay. So, this is the general form of a quadratic polynomial. This is how it looks like. It is said that it is, it is factorizable into the linear distinct factors. Then we have to find out the total number of real and distinct zeros for this. f of x. So, we will understand, we'll understand this using an example. That is, we will take f x, a quadratic polynomial, okay, which is factorizable. So, that will be x square plus 4x plus 4. If we take this and do the middle term splitting to find out the factor, so we will get x square plus 2x plus 2x plus 4. It should be equals to 0 because it is factorizable. So, to find out the value of x, from the first two terms we will take x common, so we will get x plus 2 in the brackets. From the next two terms we will take 2 common, so we will get x plus 2 in the bracket. From both the terms we will take x plus 2 common, so we will have x plus 2 into x plus 2 equals to 0. So see, the value of x will be minus 2 and minus 2. Okay, so here we have two values of x, but these are not distinct. They are equal to each other, minus 2 and minus 2. So they have equal values. And we have to find out the number of real and distinct zeros. So this example is for real number but not distinct. So this for, from this example we get to know that there are pos the total two possible zeros for a quadratic polynomial. As you can see this is a quadratic polynomial and this number of zeros obtained is 2. Now we will find out for a different function f of x having distinct uh, zeros. So let us take the example x square plus 5x plus 6. Now if I solve this using the middle term splitting method and find out the zero, so it will be x square plus 3x plus 2x plus 6 equals to 0. So therefore as we solve this from first two terms we will take x common so we will have x plus 3 in the back bracket. From the next two terms we will take 2 common and we will have x plus 3 in the bracket. From both the terms we will take x plus 3 common so we will get x plus 3 into x plus 2 equals to 0. So from here the value of x can be obtained that will be minus 3 or minus 2. So again you see that in a quadratic polynomial x square plus 5x plus c, the number of distinct real number or zeros is minus 3 minus 2. That is, there are total two distinct zeros. Okay, so we can say that the number of zeros that are possible in a quadratic polynomial, number of real and distinct zeros are 2. Hence, this is the solution. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.